Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a hard one because last night, yesterday, was a really hard day. Are you looking for grass? There you go. Hey, wait. Oh, somebody put the buckets the wrong way. Come on, Gracie girl. Fine, Gracie's going there. <laughs> oh, man. We have the farrier coming this morning, our, our, my, my farrier for home for the girls. So Sylvia and I are gonna do that this morning. So I don't have much time to explain. I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and explain what happened yesterday. But essentially, Gabby had a really bad fall, a rotational fall off Lily. And we got home from the hospital really, really late. And none of us got any sleep. Uh, Gabby has a concussion. And she's gonna be fine. She's gonna be completely fine. So many things happened to save her. Lily literally was the best horse. Like, she did everything in, sh in her power to keep Gabby safe. And it was just amazing to see. I mean, it was not amazing to see. So... I'm gonna explain what happened and how you can be going along in life and then literally two minutes change your life forever because I don't know if my kids are gonna ever get back on a horse. I think Gabby will. I know Sophie will. I don't know what the rest of this journey is gonna even hold for us right now. Sophie was on chance, the other end of the arena. He saw the whole thing happened. Sophie saw the whole thing happened. And that's where the story takes a turn for the worst. Anyway, we're gonna do the farrier and then I'll come back and sit down and have a, a talk with you guys about it. And then we're gonna rest for the rest of the day because none of us, we didn't get home till so late. Like we didn't even go to bed till after one. So I'll be back and explain everything. And we are done with our amazing farrier. I love her so much. The dogs will get those. The horses are out again, and Sophie is back up at the house. Gabby's sleeping. Essentially, Gabby had a rotational fall. She was riding Lily. They went over an oxer, and Lily took a long, and as she went over, the back of her feet got clipped the rails. So as she went over, the back of her feet clipped the rails, and so then they just went down. Sylvie was on chance at the far end where the gate was. Gabby went down and the minute she hit, she passed out, which was perfect because the horse was right beside her and had to get up. And so she rolled over and unfortunately rolled over Gabby, stood up on the other side of Gabby. She fell on the, on the right hand side. She stood up and Gabby was underneath her. Her front feet were on the right hand side and her back feet were on the other side so Gabby was unconscious in between her and the horse like I said was a saint absolute saint the reins got as she was rolling she got stuck on her back because of the saddle as she was rolling she was flailing and the reins got caught underneath her legs so when she stood up and she tried to get off of Gabby away from Gabby she had to kick a little to, to break the reins and get them off of her feet so in the process of doing that, she she kicked Gabby and stood on her butt. But even though that happened, she, I, I don't even know, like even the doctors were like, you know, this is, it's a miracle after like seeing what she went through. Like Lily literally could have trampled her, could have stomped on her, could have, and you can see she kicks free of these reins which meant that she just kicked Gabby in the leg. And then when she was going back over, she, Gabby got a hoof print on her butt. So we think that she stepped on her bum. On her bum, like the, the fattiest part of your body. And then she got away from Gabby without even touching her at all. Like it was so bare what the horse did to Gabby. Bare, like she did whatever she could to keep Gabby safe. Then she just stood and moved up at Gabby's head while Gabby laid there and just stood looking at her. Like honestly, I don't know if it was any other horse. Like, she 
was incredible. Like how she, like the whole thing, how it happened, she rolled, they both landed side by side and to get up she had to roll. So when she rolled, she rolled all the way from Gabby's bum up to her shoulders. Her entire body rolled over top of Gabby's body. Then she jumped up at her shoulders and then only had that second where she had to kick out and break the reins around her feet. And that's the only reason she even got Gabby at all. And she got her leg. Gabby has a bruise on her leg. So Gabby doesn't remember any of it. She saw the ground coming, blacked out, and she doesn't remember anything. She doesn't remember anything after. She doesn't remember for hours after. She just, she has very little memory of the whole thing. She was out of it. She was so nice. <laughs> like Gabby was so calm and so nice, but she was like dazed and confused. Um, the things that were amazing, you always, always look for the positive in every situation because it was scary and it was awful. Like, so awful. The people that were there, like, will be affected forever seeing that. Gabby saw nothing. All she saw was some dirt and then nothing. And the thing is, is that if Gabby had been awake, could you imagine laying there and a 900-pound horse rolling from your, like, bum up to your face? Like, you would panic and you would try and get away and... And if Gabby had tried to get away, she would have rolled away from the horse. She wouldn't have rolled into the horse. She would have rolled away from the horse. And the way the horse had to get up was to go in that direction. The only way this could have came out as positively as it did was for Gabby to lose consciousness and just lay there while the horse did what it needed to do to get up. Like, that is the only way this was going to come out perfectly. And that's, that's what happened. So that's what happened. Uh, Gabby's fine. Like I said, she has a big huge bruise on her leg. Her bum is completely not sore. It wasn't last night. She feels she feels fine. She has a concussion. She can't ride. And it's the week before she has a horse show on the weekend. Like, obviously, God does not want Gabby to show this summer. Like, every time, like a week before the show, disaster strikes. So she's not able to show and she's going to have to get out of that show. And Lily is great. Lily is fine. I don't know how the saddle is. We never even checked the saddle, but the horse was stuck on her back on the saddle for like a few minutes. So she's on like a concussion protocol. So she can't ride until next Monday. And that's only if, um, so she's to add things in each day after 24 hours. And as long as she tolerates it well, then she can ride on Monday. So she will be off the horse. But then also what happened is that, so Gabby's fine. Gabby doesn't remember. Gabby is okay. Like, Gabby, like, I don't know what it's going to be like when she gets back on a horse. Like, I don't know how it's going to work for her. This might set her back, and that's okay. That's what riding is. That's what everything is. Sometimes there are setbacks, and this is a setback. But what also happened is that Sophie, like, and this is the hard part, because sometimes, like, when there's a tragedy or, like, a, a issue, it's the people that are watching or the people that like are there that really get the like it, it's hard to see like your kid laying underneath a horse so anyways Sophie saw and she was on Chance and they were just walking and Chance saw the jump crashed the horse went down and Chance saw that and he's a baby and he just started backing up really fast and was going to turn around and turned around and because he wanted to get away from it. And Sophie managed that. She handled that no problem. As I was running to Gabby, I heard Sophie. Like, so Gabby was over here and Sophie was over here. And I was looking this way and Sam was behind Gabby. And I knew he would take care of her. And she was saying, I'm getting down. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. I'm getting off now. I'm getting off now. I said, Sophie, wait. Like, I don't know if Lily was going to be running around. Like, I didn't know what was happening. She wasn't in any danger at all. Like, the horse just backed up fast and turned around. But Sophie was so traumatized by seeing what happened and being on chance. And I don't know what happened inside of her brain in those five minutes but she got scared so Gabby who like had the fall she is fine she'd probably be scared later but she, she didn't remember anything that happened and she has no even memory of the impact so she's fine she's not got any pain she's doing really well but Sophie who saw it all and was sitting on this horse and then the horse reacted and Sophie said I'm never riding him again I'm never riding him again like 
and she loves the horse and she loves like she loves every single time she gets him to do something and she's like good boy and she loves that she's not doing much on him like but she said I'm never riding him again and she got off of him and then she told Brandon like I'm never riding him again so chances are she ended the she's ending the lease and it has to be Sophie's choice only she can know what she can handle I don't believe that you should like end something just because you're scared because you went through a traumatic situation I'm going to like let her go to the barn and play with him and just do some like bring him in and you know take care of him. I'm not going to make her ride him. I I believe Sophie knows what she needs when she needs it. And so lateral of this whole day is that Sophie's ending her lease with Chance and it's sad for her and she can't talk about it. She just cries, but she like what she saw was so traumatic. Like sometimes the trauma is to the people who see. <laughs> like so, I mean, it's always to the people who see, whenever you see something horrible happen like that, you always are traumatized after for a short period. So we'll see what happens, but the chances are that she's ending her lease and Brandon will just find her something else. And she, I don't even know, she, like, so tomorrow is riding lessons and Gabby won't be riding and Sophie will be riding Denver and the way she's talking is like, because of it, I don't know how it affected her, but the way she's talking is that she can only trust Denver now. Like she can only, like maybe it's that she didn't have all her trust built in this horse yet, but she didn't, and he didn't have his trust built in her yet. And that's why like it all affected her so strongly. Like I'm on him and if that happens to me, like she doesn't have the trust, I don't know what it is, but for some reason the way she's talking today is that all her trust is built in Denver and, and she, I think she's gonna ride if she doesn't ride I don't know I don't know so basically what I'm saying in this video is that literally in two short minutes your life can be changed forever like Sophie lost a horse essentially and Gabby lost the show season and could have lost her life but I mean there was a guardian angel like there's only that's the only like if you had seen it like I kept saying She's not getting up, she's not getting up. Like, I better go, I better go. Cause I don't like to run to her when she falls because I freak out. I let the coach go. Gabby always jumps up, always jumps up. And I met Brandon, Brandon got there first. He was far from her too. And he said, I don't know what happened. She's not getting up. And that's what scared us. That's what, what the scariest part was that she didn't get up. And then when she did get up, she was out of it. Like she was just walking around like, like a ghost. Like there was nothing up there. Like she, she didn't know what she was doing. Like she, she, she said, I dreamed this. And I said, you did. And then she didn't answer me. She just walked away. Like she was so out of it for a long time after. And then later when I said, but you, did you dream that? And she said, no, why would I dream it? I didn't dream it. I'm like, okay. And then she said she didn't say that, but like she said a couple of things after, but not much. Anyways, so I don't want to scare any kids because it was just a fluke. It was just something that happened. And she did good and everything turned out wonderful. And we're still have our horses and everything is just moving forward the way God wants it to. And I don't know, I can't tell you what's gonna happen next. All I know is that my kids are in a situation right now where they're both traumatized by an incident that happened. And it was unexpected. We went to riding lessons. It was just a quiet, beautiful, amazing lesson. She did so good. That video is already posted. And when it, where it happened was the line that they were jumping, the last jump on the line is where, where it happened. So anyways, that is it. I thought I was going to like go back up to the house and like have a restful day because we hardly slept last night. We didn't get home from the hospital till really late, but I have to go get grain and I have to go get shavings for Chino. And that's what happens with horses. And it's kind of good because you're distracted. And, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, I'll keep you guys informed with the whole chant situation, the Lily situation, and the Gabby situation. But for now, there will be no show, and there's probably not going to be a chance. And I wanted you guys to know. Don't you know that you're beautiful?